वेलकम टू ई पी जी पाठशाला प्रोग्राम टूडे वी विल लर्न अबाउट द वॉटर जर्नल इंट्रोडक्शन द वॉटर इज द बेसिक्स ऑफ लाइफ एंड अबाउट सेवेंटी परसेंट ऑफ अवर अर्थ सरफेस इज कवर्ड विद वॉटर वॉटर इज वेरी नेसेसरी फॉर द डोमेस्टिक पर्पज इरीगेशन पर्पज एंड फॉर द इंडस्ट्रियल पर्पज विदाउट वॉटर इट इज़ वेरी डिफिकल्ट टू सर्वाइव एंड वॉटर इज द ओनली सब्सटांस ऑन दिस अर्थ विच इज एग्जिस्ट इन द लिक्विड solid and gaseous form the learning objectives of my module are to explain the structure of water molecule to understand the different properties of water to explain the role and importance of water to understand different issues related with water so this is the concept map showing the brief description of the module about the importance up to the pollution uh, about 70% of the earth often called as blue planet is covered with water our earth is only planet in our solar system which contains liquid water water is a vital link in the development of mankind from the earliest times people settled along rivers lakes seas and oceans the continual movement of water around the globe is known as hydrological cycle there are some definitions drinking water can be defined as water for ingestion basic personal and domestic hygiene and cooking whereas safe drinking water means that the water meets does not represent any significant risk to health over a lifetime of consumption including different sensitivities that may occur between life stages an improved drinking water source is defined as a type of drinking water facility or water delivery point that by the nature of its design protect the drinking water source from external contamination particularly of fecal origin right to water includes a continuous supply of a minimum amount of water sufficient for drinking personal and domestic hygiene for an affordable price within a reasonable distance basic access can be defined as the availability of at least 20 liters of drinking water per person per day within a distance of not more than 1 km of dwelling corresponding to a maximum water hauling round trip of 30 minutes the united nations journal assembly on 28th july 2010 through resolution 64 oblique 292 unambiguously recognize the human right to water and sanitation structure of water molecule the water molecule is made up of two hydrogen atoms bonded to an oxygen atom the bonds which hold the hydrogen and oxygen together are called covalent bonds the three atoms are not in a straight line as they form an angle of 104.5 degree the water molecule maintain a bent shape of 107.5 degree water molecule has a slightly negative end and a slightly positive end it can interact with itself and forms a highly organized intermolecular network the positive hydrogen end of one molecule can interact favorably with the negative lone pair of another water molecule this interaction is called as hydrogen bonding which is a type of weak electrostatic attraction this is the structure of water molecule showing the negative and positive charge on the water molecule and on the right hand side it's showing about hydrogen bond and the covalent bond unique properties of water no other substance on the globe can exist simultaneously in all three phases states phase states that is liquid solid and vapor water is an universal solvent capable of dissolving many kinds of substances due to which natural water is never absolutely pure as a solvent and a main principal participant of reaction and processes water is a medium for chemical reactions biological processes and various physical phenomena the property of water is surface tension where water molecules at the surface nest to air hold closely together forming an invisible film the surface tension is denoted by the greek letter gamma and the magnitude f of the force per unit length over which it acts the formula is gamma is equal to f divided by l water surface tension can hold weight that would normally sink 
Floating a paper piece on the top of the water is also due to the property of surface tension. Walking of some aquatic insects is due to this property. Surface tension is essential for the transfer of energy from wind to water to create waves. Waves are necessary for rapid oxygen diffusion in lakes and seas. Capillary action is defined as the movement of water within the spaces of porous material due to the forces of adhesion, cohesion and surface tension. This property of water is essential for the growth of plants and trees where it enters the plant roots and moves to other part of the plant through tiny tubes like structures called xylem. By capillary action, water reaches more than 90 meter above the ground in tallest trees of redwood plant. Thermal properties of water, water absorb or release more than more heat than many substances for each degree of temperature increase or decrease. Because of this, it is widely used for cooling and for transferring of heat in thermal and chemical processes. This property of water is crucial for stabilizing temperatures on earth. Specific heat property, water has a high specific heat of 1. The amount of energy required to raise the temperature of water by 1 degree Celsius is quite large because so much heat loss or heat input is required to lower or raise the temperature of water, the ocean and other large bodies of water have relatively constant temperatures. Heat of vaporization, water absorb heat as it changes from a liquid to a gas. The human body can dissipate excess heat by evaporation of its sweat. Water high heat conductivity makes possible the even distribution of heat throughout the body. Boiling and freezing, at sea level pure water boils at 100 degree centigrade and freezes at 0 degree centigrade but extra energy is needed to push water molecule into the air. This is called latent heat, the heat required to change water from one phase to another. The high latent heat of evaporation gives resistance to dehydration and considerable evaporative cooling. Energy is lost when water freezes. A great amount of heat is released into the environment when liquid water changes to ice. Nights when ice freeze often feel warmer than nights when ice melts. Water density. Water is the most dense at 4 degrees centigrade and then begins to expand again becoming less dense as the temperature drops further. Liquid water at 4 degrees centigrade is about 9% denser than ice. This expansion is due to hydrogen bonds in water become more rigid and order. As a result, ice floats upon the denser cold water. Solid expansion. For most substances, solids are denser than liquids, but the special properties of water make it less dense as a solid. Floating ice often insulate and protect animals and plants living in the deep water below. Specific heat capacity. It means the resistance to temperature change. It takes a lot of energy to change the water temperature as it takes a lot of energy to break the hydrogen bonds. This property keeps ocean temperature fairly moderate which is important for marine life survival. Isotopes of water distinguish by the mass numbers and characteristics of hydrogen and oxygen. There are 18 isotopic kinds of water. Because of the low abundance of the heavier isotopes, almost all water molecules are of three isotopic combinations of 1H216O, 2H216O and 1H218O. Stable isotopes in water are 2H216O and 1H218O provide the basis for hydrological, paleoclimatic, ecological, archaeological and forensic studies. Now the importance of water in life. Water is the second after oxygen as being vital for life. Humans may feel thrust after a fluid loss of only 1% of body fluid and be in danger of death when fluid loss near to 10%. The average daily water requirements for human survival is between 1.5 to 5% liters per capita per day. Uses of water, 
water uses can be classified into consumptive and non consumptive use. Consumptive use denotes that water which partially or totally used up through evapotranspiration, transformation, contamination or other processes. Consumptive uses remove this water from the terrestrial part of the water cycle and return it to a, to a vapor state. Examples of this uses are water for domestic and municipal needs, irrigation and industry. Nearly 85 percent of total human consumptive use of water worldwide is for irrigation in agriculture. About 70 percent of total water used in industry is for cooling purpose only, hydropower generation, recreation, water sports, fisheries, inland navigation and ecosystem maintenance are some of the other uses of water. Scarcity of water, water scarcity involve water stress, water shortage or deficit and water crisis. Water scarcity is the lack of sufficient available water resources to meet the demands of water usage within a region. More than 1.2 billion people access to clean drinking water. Water shortages may be caused by climate change such as changed weather pattern including droughts or floods, increased pollution and human demands and overuse of water. About the water pollution, water pollution is defined as the addition of any substance to water or changes of water physical and chemical characteristics in any way which interfere with its use for genuine purpose. About 3.4 million people die each year from diseases associated with pathogens in water like cholera, typhoid, infectious hepatitis, polio, cryptosporidiosis, ascariasis and diarrheal diseases. Many of these diseases are due to the presence of human waste in water. This is the example of Nai Sotanala also known as Narayani Srotra in Haridwar which carries all sort of municipal solid waste and water pollutants into the holy river Ganges. This the same drain is pouring all the waste into the river Ganges at the Harki Pori in Haridwar. Population growth, increased economic activity, expansion and agriculture intensification and discharge of untreated sewage into rivers and lakes are the main reason behind the troubling rises in surface water pollution in many countries including India. So in conclusion, what water is a vital resource for all of us but due to its unique and specific properties, the water is getting scarce and polluted. So for its better use and sustainability, we should use in a genuine manner. Thank you.